Mr. Beagley. Hey there, guys and gals, it's Gerbeagley with another episode of Gaming with Gerbeagley, and I'm once again starting a brand new series. This is the game Undertale. A lot of you guys have been requesting this game, and I have been so excited to play it. I was originally going to wait until after October to play it, but all of you guys have been like, you gotta play it. You gotta play it now, you gotta try it out before anything's spoiled for you. So I went ahead and I installed it, and I'm very, very excited to play it. I did do a quick sound test in this, and I exited out of the game again, and I was told that there's only one save file in the game, and that it will detect if you reset the game, and it will have like different dialogue than what it's supposed to. I'm very, very worried that I accidentally did that by doing a sound test in the game. I hope not. I haven't really seen any other characters or talked to any characters or anything like that. So if that's the case and I've messed something up, I'm very, very sorry, guys. I hope it's not the case, though. But let's go ahead and get started. This is in a JRPG fashion, and the thing that really, really gets me very excited about this game is you can actually go through it without killing a single enemy, and that's really, really cool to me. So we're going to go ahead and name our character Waffles Flapjack, because that's just the name that we normally pick, or at least Waffles. Oh, okay. Or uh, apparently we can't fit even the word waffles in there. It's going to be waffle or waffle. Let's do uh, waffles with a Z. Waffles because we're super, super awesome and hardcore like that. <laughs> but waffles will be our character. So in the beginning, there was a cutscene that explained that originally humans and monsters were at war and the monsters lost the war and the humans banished them to the underground, which is where we fell. Our main character was up on the mountain and she fell into a hole and now we are stuck in the underworld. So this is as far as I went last time. I went up and I spoke to this flower and then I exited out of the game and he was saying something about like, hey, you fell down the hole and that was it. So... Oh, that's different. Okay, so I guess I probably messed something up by resetting the game and starting it again. I'm very, very sorry for that, guys. But let's go ahead and continue. He says, don't you have anything better to do? Uh, I don't know. Do I have anything better to do? See that heart? That's your soul, the very culmination of your being. Your soul starts off weak, but can grow strong if you gain a lot of level. Okay, cool. So, oh, I'm moving around the heart. So that's cool. So this is very, very interesting. So from what I've heard, this game is a lot of different genres match, mashed up. So this is sort of an homage, at least in graphical style, to those old Nintendo JRPGs, which gets me really excited because there hasn't been like a JRPG that's really gripped the YouTube community in a long time. So this game, getting all this hype, is really, really cool to me. And also, it's just made by one dude, which is really, really awesome as well. He used Game Maker to make it. So um, what's level stand for? Why, love, of course. Oh, love. Love. I thought it stood for level. Okay. Um, and also, I guess it has some shmup elements. So um, I'm this little heart, and I'm supposed to avoid like attacks or something like that, is what I've read, which is really cool because I love shmups. And also, uh, not only does it ha harken back to old JRPGs, it's sort of like got an earthboundy feel to it, which, by the way, this will not become another earthbound. I will not skip out on this game. I will actually finish this one. Very, very sorry to Earthbound fans. I will come back to that at some later point, maybe stream it or something like that to beat it, but um, as of right now, this game, I guess, is a lot shorter, so I will be able to beat it. Um, you want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Oh, okay. Down here, love is shared through little white friendliness pellets. Friendliness pellets? Are you ready? Move around. Get as many as you can. Okay, cool. Oh, uh, what the hell is face? You idiot. In this world, it's kill or be killed. Oh, and I'm really excited because I do get to do a lot of voice acting, apparently. Why would anyone pass up an opportunity like this? Oh. Oh, my gosh. Die. Uh. Uh-oh. What, what do I do here? <laughs> oh. I got full health. That's good. Oh. <laughs> See you later, Flowey. That was his name in the beginning. The first time that I uh, got to talk to him and see his first line, his name was Flowey, the flower, which he seemed nice at first, but now he's kind of a jerk. What a terrible creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Ah, do not be afraid, my child. I am Torio, caretaker of the runes. She seems nice. She saved me. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. Well, that was me. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come. I will guide you through the catacombs. Aw, oh, how nice of you. Please don't turn evil also. This way. Okay, sure. I'll follow along. Seem pretty cool so far, Toriel. Alright. What's that thing? Glowy thing. 
The shadow of the runes looms above, filling you with determination. HP fully restored. Nice. Oh, cool. It's a save point, too. So as I was trying to say, though, earlier, this is a lot of different genres and game illusions all mashed together. I guess there's a lot of JRPG in-jokes during this game, which gets me excited because I grew up playing a lot of JRPGs. Also, I guess the system allows it so that you can get through without fighting anyone, like I was saying before, but... That's that's really cool. I think I mentioned that before. Maybe I didn't. I'm very tired right now. I'm very sorry if I didn't. But this game does allow you to do a pure pacifist run where you go through and you don't fight anyone, which is just badass sounding to me. So I'm very excited to try that. Um, that sounds a lot to me like the game. There's this game called Revelations the Demon Slayer. Also the original Persona games, which were kind of like in the same genre. I think that was actually, Revelations was one of the Persona games, just renamed, something like that. But anyway, you were able to negotiate with monsters and get them on your team. And I feel like this game is going to be kind of like this. So I'm going to go ahead and save. All right, Toriel. Oh, hey, man, she, she really booked it out of there. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. Okay. Cool. The ruins are full of puzzles. Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the sight of them. I, I think I can do that. What happens if I hit these? <laughs> oh, nothing. That was kind of fun. What's this say on the wall? Only the fearless may proceed. Brave ones, foolish ones, both walk not the middle road. Okay. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. Oh, well that's good. Press Z to read signs. Actually, I don't need to hit Z because this actually runs with a gamepad, which is really cool. I love playing games with the gamepad. It gives me sort of that nostalgic feel. Stay on the path. Uh, no, I'm going to check all these vines in the water. Man, I love the music in this already. It's really cool and cheery. All right, it looks like that one's labeled. <laughs> that was nice and easy. Like I said, I hope this isn't a trap. What happens if I click the wrong one? No, no, no. You want to press the other switch. I even labeled it for you. <laughs> Sorry, Toriel. Splendid. I am proud of you, little one. I didn't really do much. I just hit switches that you labeled. <laughs> Let us move to the next room. Okay, what's in here? Nothing? Okay. Thought maybe something would be hidden behind the vines like in old school RPGs. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time. I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. Okay, I think I can do that. Oh! You've encountered the dummy. Okay. Oh, okay, so I can select what to do. I can fight, act, item, or mercy. What happens if I act? I can act on the dummy, I can check or talk to it. Let's talk to the dummy. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. Toriel seems happy with you. You won, you earned zero XP and zero gold. Wow, that's a lot of XP and gold right there. <laughs> ah, very good, you are very good. So I've heard like so many rave things about this game and already I'm just drawn into this. Like I love the art style, I love the sounds and or the sound effects and the music. Everything about this already seems really really cool to me. There's another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. Uh, okay. Let's check behind some vines. Uh-huh. Nothing. Okay. Are you just are you leading the way to it? Whoa. Whoa, what happened? Oh my gosh. Froggit attacks me. Uh, let's try to talk to Froggit. So, compliment, threat, okay, let's compliment Froggit. Froggit didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. Oh, there's Toriel. Cool. Ah, oh, she scared him away. <laughs> you won, you earned zero XP and zero gold. So, I wonder if by talking and being a pacifist, the monsters, you don't earn any XP? Because that's going to be interesting. Does that mean, like, you'll die in one hit later in the game? That'd be really sad. <laughs> the western room is the eastern room's blueprint. Okay, so uh, whatever happened in the eastern room I'll have to do on the west. That's a lot of spikes. This is the puzzle, but here, take my hand for a moment. Okay. Oh, it's it's the same as the path in the other room. I get it. Okay. Looks like she's just leading me through, which is nice. <laughs> she doesn't even trust me with the puzzle. Okay. Or I'm gonna or she's gonna like warp me back and I'm gonna have to do it, which will suck. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. <laughs> Okay, what happens if I try to walk on it now? Oh, I can go back. I don't think I want to risk it. I feel like I'm going to step on a spike. You've done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. 
Uh, well, I'm up to the task. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. Uh, is something bad gonna happen? I'm gonna check all the vines, just in case. So with this, uh, very high-paced music, it sounds a little bit worrisome. Is there something, like, chasing me? <laughs> I'm not gonna stop to look back. Anything here? No? I'm just checking for secrets, guys. There's always secrets in these types of games. Doesn't seem to be any in this room yet, though. <laughs> so now I just look like an idiot. <laughs> There's plenty of vines, though. We'll find them all. Come on. Give me something. No? All right, what's this big pillar? Oh. Oh, she was behind it the whole time. Greetings, my child. Do not worry. I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. <laughs> okay. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. Cell phone? Damn, their technology is pretty good underground. <laughs> if you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, all right? Um, okay. So can we use the cell phone, then? Oh, cell phone. Cool. Say hello about yourself. Call her mom. Or flirt. <laughs> Those are some pretty cool options. Okay, uh, let's call her, uh, let's call her mom. Dialing. This is Toriel, huh? Did you just call me mom? Well, I suppose. Would that make you happy? To call me mother? <laughs> well then, call me whatever you like. Click. <laughs> That's very reminiscent of the phone in Earthbound where you could call your parents. Oh, wow, okay, so that option's gone now, so I can do the rest of them? This is Toriel. You only wanted to say hello? Well then, hello. I hope that suffices. Hee <laughs> hee. Click. <laughs> oh, okay. That one didn't go away. That's interesting. Let's flirt with her. Let's see what's up. Oh. Huh? Oh. Heh. <laughs> Heh. How adorable. I could pinch your cheek. How can... Or you can certainly find better than an old woman like me. Oh, don't sell yourself uh, short there, Toriel. All right, about myself. <laughs> She's a lovely lady. I like her. This is Toriel. You want to know more about me? Well, I am afraid there is not much to say. I'm just a silly little lady who worries too much. Okay. Well, I guess let's continue to the next room. I know that she said that... Oh. <laughs> oh, she caught us already. Hello, this is Toriel. You have not just left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try to solve them yourself. Be good, all right? Well, I'm not going to stick around the room. There's a save point right here. Let's use it. Playfully crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination. HP fully restored. Cool. All right. Yeah, we'll save in the leaf pile. I f oh. I guess we got into a fight. Oh, a whim whimsom appeared. Meekly. <laughs> all right, let's act on it. We could terrorize it, we could check it, or we could console it. Let's console it! Halfway through your first word, Winsome bursts into tears and runs away. Aw, you won! You earned 0 XP and 0 gold. Alright, so it does seem like every time I face a monster and I use pacifism on it, it's gonna give me 0 experience points. So that's really interesting. Ribbit, ribbit, excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please, use some mercy, human. Ribbit. Okay, that's easy enough. All right, cool, what's in here? It says take one, take a piece of candy? Uh, sure, take a piece of candy. All right, let's look at the menu. What does a piece of candy do? Monster candy, info, monster candy, heals 10 8. HP has a distinct non-licorice flavor. Well, that's good. I don't really like licorice that much. I mean, licorice is okay. It's not my favorite, though. Take one, take a candy. Oh, I can take more? Sure. You took more candy. How disgust- How disgusting! Well, you asked me if I wanted it. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, I guess continue along our way and get into more random battles, it seems. Froggit hopped close. Alright. Let's, uh, compliment the Froggit again. Froggit didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. Blushes deeply, ribbit. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, so I dodged the frog it. It was jumping at me. That's kind of cool. I love that that's the battle system, that I can avoid, you know, whatever's going on. I can avoid the attack by actually moving my little heart. So let's threaten this frog it. Frog it didn't understand what you said, but was scared anyway. Shiver, shiver. All right. Ha, come and get me. You can't get me. He can't jump that high. 
seems reluctant to fight you. Let's use some mercy on him. Let's spare him. Oh, okay. Oh, hey, we got gold. That was pretty cool. So you do get some gold. I, I wonder about the XP, but uh, yeah, the gold... Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, another puzzle. Cool. Can I just go up here and it will... Oh, yeah. Alright, not much of a puzzle. <laughs> that was pretty easy. Oh, did something just happen? That was weird. It looked like I was maybe getting into a random battle, but it didn't work. Hello, this is Toriel. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer, cinnamon or butterscotch? Um, I like cinnamon better. I'm a big cinnamon fan. I like a good cinnamon bun. Although, like, butterscotch, you know, a butterscotch, like ice cream or butterscotch candy now and then. Ah, I like cinnamon though. I'm going to do cinnamon. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. Ah, I don't know. Man, that was a hard one. <laughs> Man, she is using up all of my cell minutes. That's all I got to say. All my data is getting used by Toriel here. Hello, this is Toriel. You do not dislike butterscotch, do you? I know what your preference is, but would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Right, right. I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. I didn't get to answer. Of course I wouldn't turn away butterscotch. I like butterscotch. Three out of four gray rocks recommend you push them. <laughs> okay. Uh-oh. Another fight. Another whimsum. All right, whimsum. I'm going to terrorize you this time. You raise your arms and wiggle your fingers. Whimsum freaks out. I can't handle this. Oh, shit. Oh, it hurt me. Damn it. I didn't want to run into it. Whimsum is hyperventilating. All right, we're going to console you. Halfway through your first word, whimsum bursts into tears and runs away. Yay! Hey, we got more gold. Cool. And we're pushing a rock. Ah, oh, that made the spikes go away. These are pretty easy puzzles. I like that. I like that because it means that we can move forward pretty easily. Oh, gosh. The floor is going to break. Oh, no, it did. You son of a bitch, Floor. Oh, hey, cool. This is probably the path right here. I bet this is the path we have to take. All right. Please don't step on the leaves. Uh-oh. Got into a fight, and I didn't even step on the leaves. All right, it feels like this is one of those games where I might cut out some of the random battles here and there, but at least in this first episode, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, you know, keep them in just so that you guys can see what it's like. Shiver, shiver. Oh. Man, that was a pretty low jump. Reluctant to fight. Let's have some mercy on him. Heck yeah. All right, what happens if I step on the leaves? I'm stepping on the leaves. What now? What now, game? What are you going to do to me? All right, so it looked like it was like... Oh, don't step on the leaves because that's where they were in the in the underground there. Oh, I stepped on those leaves. Didn't you read the sign downstairs? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, I have to go all the way down and up. Okay, I got it. Mold small blocked away. Mold small. Man, that looks like a weird jelly thing. Uh, let's imitate it. You lie immobile with mold small. You feel like you understand the world a little better. Slime sounds. What slime? What are slime sounds? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Holy Moses, that was close. Waits pensively. All right, let's flirt with it. You wiggle your hips. Molt small wiggles back. What a meaningful conversation. Scorch. <laughs> oh shit! Oh my god, it's changing its attack pattern. This is really cool. This is like really, really cool. All right, let's just check him. Attack six, defense zero. Stereotypical. Cur curvaceously attractive, but no brains. Slime sounds. Alright, I wonder what happens if I do a, a mercy on him. Oh god. I have a feeling that these dodging segments are going to get a lot harder in the future. Alright, how about mercy on him? Oh, he didn't want to fight to begin with. <laughs> Very cool. Man, I like this game a lot. It's really cool. It really already has my attention. Alright, let's go ahead and we'll do a little bit of this action. And then a little bit of this action. Then we got to go all the way down, and then kaboom, we're out of there. Awesome. All right, looks like we got to push more spikes, or more rocks, or get into another fight. Frog and a whimsome together. Okay, well, we know how to get rid of this whimsum. Runs away. Croak, croak. All right, you can't reach me up here. <laughs> it's cool that they have their own attack patterns. I really, really like that. All right, let's go ahead and compliment you. Didn't understand what you said. It was flattered anyway. Blushes deeply. Oh, that was close. He almost touched me. Reluctant to fight, and we'll spare him. So now we know the patterns of getting rid of some of them. Whoa there, partner. Who said you could push me around, huh? So you're asking me to move over? Okay, just for you, pumpkin. <laughs> huh? You want me to move some more? All righty. How's this? Oh, you bastard. Huh? That was the wrong direction. 
Okay, think I got it. There you go. Thank you, sir. What a nice person, Anna. The spikes are down. <gasps> you son of a bitch. Hmm? You wanted me to stay there? You're giving me a real workout. Yeah, please don't kill me accidentally. Thank you. That wasn't so bad. All right, cool. So there's a save point and a piece of cheese and a tiny little mouse hole, it looks like. Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese, it fills you with determination. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and we're going to save there, guys, and we're going to stop the episode here. This was just my first impressions of Undertale, but I love it so far. I really love the graphic style. I love the sort of throwback nostalgia feel of it. I love the music and the sound effects and the battle system, and everything about this so far is really, really cool to me. I hope that you guys are digging it. I know that a lot of you got really bummed out when I stopped Earthbound, but this game hopefully will fill that gap in your soul <laughs> and like i said we will continue this one we will beat it and uh yeah hopefully we'll see more of this very soon let me know what you guys think in the comments below but if you guys enjoyed this one please be sure to hit the like button share the video and favorite it also be sure to subscribe to me if you guys haven't already for those of you who have thank you so much for all of your support you guys are the best in the world i love every single one of you and as always it was great seeing you Bye bye